17 asylum seekers who arrived off Dampier in WA yesterday have escaped the government's new policy just. The thing that stood out to us is probably all the women and children just sitting around on the deck um, in life jackets. But a boat with around 80 people on board intercepted off Christmas Island this morning is the first hit by Kevin Rudd's new rules. People will be informed of the new arrangements. If they make a choice that they in fact do not wish to seek asylum and they wish to return to another country, they will be assisted. Yesterday, Mr Rudd revealed asylum seekers will be processed in Papua New Guinea and, if found to be refugees, permanently resettled there. What he has effectively announced yesterday is the blank cheque solution. Um, there is no detail. Asylum seekers who aren't deemed refugees will be sent home or to a third country. Today, people took to the streets to protest against the new policy. This cruel refugee policy will not save lives. It's going to inflict more suffering and pain. I will never subcontract out to other countries the solution of problems in this country. The government has launched an international multi-million dollar ad campaign to sell its plan. This is a cheap way for the government to have party political ads at taxpayers' expense. I'll be complaining to the Auditor General. He's wrong. If this message gets out, there is a real prospect that fewer people will put their lives at risk on the high seas. I'm willing to spend money on that. Like the Gillard government's failed Malaysian solution, Mr Rudd's PNG plan could also be subject to a legal challenge. This constitutes a clear-cut, flagrant violation of our legal and moral responsibilities to refugees. We've made sure that for the High Court guidance that was given in the Malaysia decision, uh, that we have taken account of each of their objections in the way this arrangement has been put together. Mr Rudd hopes this overhaul will not only stop the boats, but win him votes.